Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. It feels like I have not spoken to you in the longest time and that is because I did not have an upload on Wednesday. Generally, as you would know, I like to upload twice a week, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. You know, life gets busy, Love Island UK becomes available on Nine now. That's what happened to me. It was like a Dementor that just sucked the life, the inspiration, the motivation out of me and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So. I've been binge watching that and I don't usually get into those kinds of shows but Love Island UK is like my kryptonite and I generally wait until the whole season is out and then I binge watch it. So that's what I've been up to. So as I was watching Love Island, I noticed that all of their clothing was sponsored by eBay and how you can buy pre-loved clothing off eBay and I was like, oh my gosh, like sustainable clothing and fashion really is a big deal right now and a hot topic this has really inspired me to film this video i really want to get this information out there i hope to inspire you guys to buy a vintage designer handbag and for any of you that have and you're unsure on how to style it i'm hoping that i'll be able to give you guys some tips today it's very simple kind of tips but they really do help to elevate that outfit because let's be honest guys these bags can look a little bit like your grandma's handbag if you're not careful. Now a little bit of a disclaimer, this is all based on my personal opinion and on my own personal style. So I just wanted to mention that. Now before I get into actually styling these beautiful handbags and going through how I will wear them, I wanted to talk about my top three tips on how to elevate these bags. So the first one is chunky jewellery. Now I see chunky jewellery as being quite modern and I don't mean everything you're wearing has to be chunky to kind of modernise an old bag, but I do find that when I opt for chunkier hoops like these ones here from Majuri, things like this, or hoops like this, I find it really helps to elevate a bag and make it look a little more modern because that's basically what you're trying to do here. You've got an old bag and you're trying to modernize it. And one really great way of doing this and quite a simple way of doing that is opting for more chunkier jewelry. Now the second tip I have is the three color rule. I saw this mentioned in a YouTube video years ago and it changed my life. I went through a real stage, if you watch my first ever capsule wardrobe video, it was just black and white and I'm almost like, oh my gosh, when I look back at that video, it's like embarrassing. But I was so new to capsule wardrobe that I felt it was just safest just to opt for black and white. But it's so true, adding a third colour really creates depth, it really makes the outfit look a little more stylish, but you're trying not to go over that three colour rule either. Obviously depending on your personal style, but when I'm going for the look that I'm going for, every time I see an outfit that I am drawn towards and love, they generally only have three colours. So I'll explain that a little more throughout the um, video when I'm putting outfits together, but basically I'm trying to stick to three colours. The third tip I have is sunglasses. Now we all know sunglasses really help to elevate an outfit, but especially when you're wearing a vintage designer handbag. Sometimes I forget to wear sunnies and forget to put them on, but when I've got a vintage um, handbag on, I like make a point of going and getting my sunglasses because it really does help to elevate the outfit. So they are my top three tips. They might sound really simple and really obvious, but chunky jewelry, the three color rule and sunglasses is pretty much all you need to know when styling a vintage bag and they have helped me so much. So before I continue rambling on about vintage bags, because we all know I could talk about this topic forever, let's just get straight into the styling and as I go through outfit, I'll talk a little more about why I chose certain pieces and why I kind of turn away from others. So let's just get straight into it. So apologies for the angle guys, I just don't have the space, which is very annoying. But the first bag I wanted to style is this beautiful vintage Gucci bag and I believe it's called the Maya shoulder bag. I finally found the name of it online after a lot of research, but that is the name of this bag. It is this beautiful Gucci canvas and then you've got the black leather. So the way I have styled this bag is, I mean you can style it so many different ways, but today I went for a grey tank top. This is just one from Nude Lucy. I've also got a long black denim skirt from Mango and then as for shoes, I opted for little Zara ballet flats. So let's run through the top three tips. I've got my chunky jewelry. I have the three color rule. We've got gray, black, and then like the beige color in there. I did try to put a jacket on, but it kind of just clashed. So I feel as though when I'm wearing a skirt like this, I would probably opt for more of like a knit jumper if I wanted some warmth and tuck it in rather than having more layers. So that is what I've got there. And then the third tip is the sunglasses. So 
they already just elevate an outfit. I don't know about you guys, but it just makes me look a little bit more put together and like I know what I'm doing, which I don't. Very, very plain, but guys, when I am wearing monogram, I wear something very plain. For example, when I'm wearing a bag like this with a lot of pattern and monogram, I wouldn't really opt for a dress like this. If I was wearing a dress like this with a lot of pattern, I would opt for just like a plain black, like one color kind of bag, if you know what I mean. So that is generally a rule I stick to. Monogram equals basic, basic outfit. <laughs> So outfit number two, very similar to the first one as in the tank top, but it's just black. And then I've paired it with a pair of big baggy light wash jeans. And again, the same ballet flats. This is a vintage Celine bag. It's a big canvasy kind of tote. And as soon as I saw it on the listing, I fell in love with it. And I was not sure how you guys were going to react when I unboxed it, but guys, so many of you loved it and you wanted to know the name of it. Unfortunately, as much research as I've done, I cannot find the actual name of this bag. So we've got the chunky jewelry. We have the three color rule. Again, these are like a brown kind of color. We've got the black and the blue. And then I've got these sunnies and I would wear these again because these are got like, these are like the only sunnies I wear and opt for. So that is outfit number two. What do we think? And guys, this is what I mean. You really need to tone down your outfits when you're wearing bags like this. Because guys, imagine how different it would look if I was wearing a dress like this with a bag like this. Like all of a sudden, this bag just does not look any good at all. And it actually makes this dress not look that nice either. So yeah, you've just got to really tone down your outfit and just be careful with how much you're incorporating when you've got a vintage designer bag. But that is outfit number two. So onto the third outfit, we are styling the beautiful Louis Vuitton Noé in the monogram. And I am obsessed with this bag. I haven't been using it as much as I would like, but I love the bag itself and I love the look of it. So again, the three color rule, we've just got some Levi ribcage jeans. We've got the black tank top I was wearing kind of before, and then I've just thrown on a black blazer. So I've got that on. Oh, and for shoes, I've got these black Charles and Keith loafers. For this bag, I find I literally cannot wear more than two colors because it starts to look too busy because again, you've already got kind of two colors here. So yeah, I wouldn't wear anything more. And this actually looks really, really nice with like a little mini white dress or a black dress. Like when you're wearing all black or all white, it looks really good with that as well. But I just wanted to change things up a little and wear it exactly how I would if I was to style this for work tomorrow, pretty much. So for outfit number four, we are styling the beautiful Gucci Diana tote and it is all black this time. So I really had to use the three color rule. So for this outfit, I've gone with a white tank top, some black um, denim shorts just from Zara. And then we've also got a um, linen shirt just unbuttoned just to bring in that third color. So this is definitely how I would style this bag. You can always swap out the shorts for a pair of black jeans as well and then I've just gone with a pair of um, sandals to really make it a little more casual but I would definitely wear something that's like this and then as for sunglasses again sorry I've literally got this pair or one other pair and I always opt for these I would wear something like this so if you don't already have a pair of like brown or black sunglasses for every day then you really should get a pair because they honestly go with every outfit so that is outfit Number four. Now the last bag I wanted to style is this beautiful vintage Fendi bag. I love this bag. I actually do struggle styling it. Like obviously I think it looks best with like a white crisp shirt or like a white dress or a black dress. Just like pairing it with one color because again you've got the two colors in here. You've got the lighter brown and the darker brown. But I wanted to try something different. So I've gone with this new shacket of mine and it's a very similar coloring to what's in the bag as well. And then pretty much all black after that. So I've got the black tank top, the black jeans and the loafers. A very, very simple outfit again with the chunky jewelry and then the sunglasses, the same ones as well. Sorry guys, it's probably getting a little repetitive, but I just have a very basic style and I find that that is why vintage handbags work so well with my style because my style was already um, very minimal. So that is the fifth outfit. Um, definitely something I would wear. So that is outfit number five. So they are some of my handbags and how I would style them or how I have styled them. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh my gosh, all she wears are jeans and like jackets. 
one it is getting cool here and two that is generally how i style my bags majority of the time i'm working from home so i'm wearing like loungewear so when i do get changed and head out it is to either run errands or go to work and that they're the kind of styles that i go for it's honestly just about playing around i'm no expert i thought about those outfits i would put them on and each time i'm like does it even look that good i don't know i'm just trying to showcase more about the bag and how beautiful these bags are when you do style them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you had some takeaways from it. I am still learning about this whole vintage handbag thing as well. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do join our little community. We're kind of all evolving together and all learning together. I learn some things off you guys. You guys learn some things off me. And I love having discussions in the comments with you guys. So make sure if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in leaving them below or message me over on Instagram. So without further ado, I'm going to wrap this video up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.